What's up everybody? Welcome back to Smell Good Feel Good. I'm Cody and in today's video I'm going to be doing my first impressions on the fragrance Al Contrario by Tiziana Terenzi. So stand fast. <music> Alright everybody, so first off, before I start this uh, review or this first impressions, I want to thank Bilal from the fragrance community for sending me a sample of this fragrance. I actually hadn't really heard of Tiziana Terenzi, uh, the fragrance house, until he mentioned I should try this fragrance. He comment I believe was about my Gourmand fragrance video and he said if you like Gourmand fragrances you'll probably really like this Al Contrario. So anyways Bilal was nice enough to send me a sample to review and I don't know that's the first time anybody who is not a fragrance brand or has a fragrance house has sent me anything to review just because they wanted to get my opinion on it and to let me experience it. So Bilal, thank you very much. Okay, so we have a little sample right here and I have never smelled this fragrance before. I wanted to wait and do it for the first time on video. So here we go. I can smell it already. <laughs> All right, let's let that dry a little bit, but Woo! It's <laughs> filling the room already. <laughs> All right, so Woo. it's powerful, or at least on this first blast, it's pretty powerful. I don't even really need to stick it up to my nose, but yes, this is definitely a gourmand fragrance. And Bilal, you're very right. I like it. I like it so far. Um, like I said, it's so powerful, I don't need to put it up to my nose. I'm just gonna like smell the air. And honestly, I'm getting like a chocolatey, like cacao and vanilla mix. And it's, I don't know, it's kind of sugary sweet too. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting like this chocolate and vanilla. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit of like a hazelnut feel from it, kind of like from the hazelnut that you get in By the Fireplace. It is maybe slightly woody, but very balsamic. Just very sweet. Definitely gourmand, and it is currently snowing outside. And definitely very good fragrance for this type of weather. I think I'm going to actually spray this on. It's my day off. And I'm going to spray this on so that I can see what Amity thinks about it whenever she gets home. So yes, initial first impressions. I very much like this fragrance. Very powerful on first spray. It's blasted me. It's just I've got this scent cloud around me right now. And I like powerful fragrances like that, so hopefully this lasts, um, kind of projecting like this and the sillage is like this for a decent amount of time. I will have to do some more testing before I determine whether or not this is a beast mode fragrance or has very good longevity, because like I said, this is just my initial impressions. I would say if you are a person that likes fragrances like By the Fireplace, Salvatore Ferragamo, Womo, um, even though it's not really smoky, I would say if you also like Memoirs of a Trespasser, things like that, I would say th if you like those fragrances, you will also like this fragrance as well. All right, so for those of you more curious about the note breakdown of Al Contrario, I'm going to go ahead and pull up what the fragrance profile is of this fragrance. And um, so the top notes are malt, ebony wood, cacao pod. Middle notes are vanilla, orchid, and tonka bean. And base notes are sandalwood, sugarcane, benzoin, and hazelnut. Okay, so 
Yeah, so I'm definitely getting that cacao pod, the vanilla, probably that tonka bean in there as well. That's giving it some of that sweetness and that sugariness that I was talking about. It's probably coming from that sugar cane. And then there's the hazelnut in there, like I mentioned. And then you also get that benzoin, which is also going to give it some of that sweetness as well. I don't know if I'm really getting any kind of like a boozy malt type scent from this. I'm not getting any of the malt. I am not familiar enough yet with Ebony Wood to decide whether or not I'm picking that up. I think the only fragrance in my collection that I own that does have Ebony Wood in it is my Icon Elite by Dunhill. But anyways, so far this is a very nice fragrance and we'll just have to see how the longevity is. I'm gonna give this some testing and then I will get back to you all on my final verdict of Al Contrario by Tiziana Terenzi. All right, everybody, so I've been able to test out Al Contrario for a couple of days now. The first day, whenever I sprayed it on the back of my hand for my initial impressions, I got as far as performance goes, I got about, I would say about seven hours or so before you know, I ended up washing it off. And then I did my other experiment where before I go to bed, I put a spray on the back of my hand and then I try to see, can I smell it the next morning whenever I wake up? So I put a spray of it on the back of my hand and woke up the next day and I could still smell it for a good amount of time, probably all the way up till noon. And then I wore it today when I had a bunch of appointments at the VA today. And um, let's see, I, I sprayed on my chest and I, and I can still smell it. I put it on at 7.30 a.m. before I left the house to get all my appointments and I just got back home. It is 4.30 in the afternoon and I can still smell it. And for a good part of the day, I just had this kind of scent bubble around me. So I would say it probably had pretty good projection. I would say for about two hours or so. And then I just kept getting whiffs of it and I still get whiffs of it like whenever I was getting out of my car, anytime my shirt kind of fluffs like that, it blows up from my chest. So this stuff does have very, very good performance and projection. So my final thoughts, it is a, if you're a gourmand lover, you will love this fragrance. In terms of the type of season to wear this fragrance, I would say Definitely winter and the cooler days of fall. I would say probably pass on spring and definitely don't wear it in the summertime. And then in terms of what occasions you would wear this, I would say you could probably wear this um, for any occasion, dressed up, dressed down. But I really think because of the sweetness, the sugary chocolatiness, it would be a really good date night fragrance. Now, I did have Amity smell this on me, and she said she liked it. And then whenever I asked her a, uh, to rate it from 0 to 10, she gave it a 7. So she is very hard to please, and her scale, like, in order to get a 9 or a 10, it's got to be really, really, it's got to blow her socks off. So um, the 7 out of 10, uh, that's a good score from her. Uh, she's pretty harsh sometimes. She'll give things like a a three or a five, if it's just okay, she'll say like a five. So there you have it, that's my first impressions and my review after testing out for a few days of Al Contrario by Tiziana Terenzi. I hope you guys like this video. I really want to explore some more of this fragrance house because I really like this one a lot and I kind of want to get a full bottle of it now. And you know, if you look online, you can find it for pretty decent prices, otherwise it's a pretty pricey fragrance. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tell me if you've tried any of the other fragrances from this house. Recommend me some down below in the comments of which ones I should get my nose on and I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.